Hello, welcome to another B4 Artists official release. So what's new in 3.3.0? We have been working with the Blender 3.3 LTS source code as well as Blender 3.4. So all new features have been merged in along with the latest from the Blender Master. We have also done our regular maintenance to the documentation, to iconography and to other features within uh, our source master as well. So let's begin. First things we have improvements to the toolbar by making the top corner no longer cut off but rounded. Previously in previous versions as you can see in the top right of our custom tabs for the tool shelf it has been cut off but now that has been fixed by Juicer. Thank you Juicer for that. And with the new brush panels add-on Thanks to EYARD's help, we have refactored the brush panel system so that the buttons draw in a nicer square way, regardless of the column width. And we have also made the reordering of the brushes uh, based on rows instead of columns. So now it is easier to remember what position your brush was relative to the other when you change the columns. Making your brush painting experience slightly more enjoyable than it was before. We have been also working behind the scenes on a new default asset library preset design document but without much to show for it. But we have added this new asset inside the new library underneath the default library of the add-on if you have it activated underneath static meshes under utility. And now we have a color checker model which you can now add to your scenes for lighting and scale references. And with that, Blender 3.3 has added new library override entries into the right-click context menu of your outliner, meaning uh, you can now access these menus using make library overrides, reset library overrides, and clearing them just from one menu deep versus here in Blender. To do the same, you would have to right click, go to a menu, go to another submenu, zigzag back, and then choose which one you wanted. With the new features from Blender 3.3, we've also documented the new brush settings and also the new nodes from Geometry Nodes, including tooltips and other uh, features, so that it's a little bit easier for you to get started with what is new, including the ability to work with these here. So the powerful thing about this new hair system is that you can use the sculpt mode to work with it and using geometry nodes you can also work with different types of curve controls and other techniques to bring out new types of power and control to your hair. Other new geometry nodes improvements include the new UV unwrap nodes. With that you can create or get the angle of edges or mark seams that have been set by the user or split edges of your geometry and different types of islands to create and dynamically unwrap your UVs. You will need to call these UVs directly from inside your shader as an attribute but with that it gives you the ability to later convert them and export them into your models for later use. Other nodes that we have been updating from the 3.4 future releases is the new mix node which will be replacing the mix RGB nodes. Other nodes that are included inside of geometry nodes is the interpolate domain node, the points geometry node, the edge paths to curves node which also allows us to detect edges paths to selection and also to detect the shortest edge path. We also have the volume cube node which works in conjunction with other SDF types of workflows. We also have the get instance rotation and the get instance scale node. And another little minor feature that has been included from Blender which has actually improved the user experience of animation greatly is now that you can access uh, keyframes from Grease Pencil, not only from the property shelf here that we've added, but we also now can access them in the dope sheet all within the same view as your object transform data or your armature transform data information. 
This is also one of the first releases where we have included hip drivers and one API drivers for cycles, which means you are able to use hardware using this type of drivers for your rendering needs. We currently do not have any hardware to test this on. So if you find any issues or any problems, please feel free to reach out into the GitHub tracker and let us know. Another thing that we have been doing with this release is we've done a very large rebasing of the EV code, meaning that it is now more stable than ever. I also want to say thank you to everybody from the community who has been contributing to the source code, especially Rainer and Iyad, and everybody else who has been part of the code this cycle. I also hope to see more of you uh, push into the source and also to those artists who maybe would like their assets or their products included as a default in the future. Feel free to reach out into the tracker with an offer or a file that you'd like to share and we can take a look to see if it should be a default. So feel free to go to b4artist.de to download for free, to install, or to use to your own free will. Enjoy.